So I have a massive problem with my Insta360. And I think many of you struggle with the same issues that have been plaguing me these past few weeks. One day while trying to record, the sticky lens guard that I installed on my Insta360 started to fog up. Now, when I first installed it, I didn't think too much about the prep work needed to overcome Singapore's humid weather. So this got me curious and I set out to answer these two questions. Are there better lens guard alternatives? Perhaps one that is easily changeable when damaged? Or if the sticky lens guard is the best option, then is there a way to install the sticky lens guard without it fogging? In order to answer the first question, I bought some of the more common lens guards you can buy on Amazon, Lazada or Shopee. Now, our first contender is a $6 plastic lens guard. Simple but flimsy and is also the cheapest option. And our second entrant is a $20 higher grade plastic protector. Now, this one is advertised online as a glass protector. However, upon receiving the product, it does not seem like it's made of glass, but rather a more sturdy and thick piece of plastic. Last but not least is the Insta360 Sticky Lens Guard, which is the most expensive of the lot. Being sold at $35 on the online store, these guards are not easily removable. If you do muddle up the installation, you will end up with fogging that will ruin your footage and thus also render the lens protector kind of unusable. First up, let's compare the lens protectors in daylight conditions. Here are the clips for you to compare and see for yourself. I found that in the daytime, all three protectors have minute differences in the centre of the frame. However, as we move towards the edges, we can see that there is a greater distortion with the $6 protectors than with the $20 protectors and the sticky lens guards. The two external lens guards also cause the footage to have obvious seams in the recording. The $6 lens protector having the worst seams of them all as we can constantly see it within the clip. The sticky lens guards, however, are pretty much invisible within the recording itself. Next up, I want to compare the lens protectors in nighttime conditions. Once again, here are the footage for you to compare and see for yourself.
at night, the differences between the lens protectors are far more apparent due to very bright light sources from lamps and other vehicles. The two external lenses both have very obvious glares coming from external light sources and any micro scratches on the plastics become super apparent. Now, the 360 lens guard has far less distortions at night and it retains the quality of the footage pretty well when compared to the footage without any lens protectors. All in all, it does seem that the sticky lens guard has the best outcome. But the downside is that it fogs up so easily if I don't install it in a dry environment. Whilst I don't really have the same issues with the two external lens protectors, I do want to capture the highest quality video. And that brings me to the second question of the video. How to install the lens protectors in a humid environment like Singapore? So because I screwed up the first installation of the lens guard, I reached out to Insta360 and they have kindly sent me a replacement set of lens protectors. This time round, I went all out. I bought some industrial grade silica gel for about six bucks a bottle and stored my Insta360 as well as the lens guard inside a sealed container for an hour or two. I also switched on the dehumidifier of my air conditioner to keep my entire room as dry as possible. After the wait, I simply wiped down the lenses with some alcohol wipes and quickly applied the lens protectors to the device. So far, I've been running it for a few days under the same conditions that caused it to fog the first time round. I've not had any fogging occur within the lens protectors of my latest footage. So I think this is a huge success for me. this entire experience was a huge pain in the ass. I'm glad to have solved the issue. I hope that this guide video has proven helpful for you and do share down in the comments below the results of your own experiences with any lens protectors that you use. I will be keeping updates on this channel if my results have changed regarding the lens guards so do stay tuned and remember to drop a like and subscribe for more motoring content. Till next time, see ya!